So in this figure, basically the perimeter and area is given. So area is okay. Let me write down practice now. Eight. Okay. This is practice now. Eight. So perimeter is given, which is thirty-seven point two meter. Students, if the unit is meters square, it means that that is the area. If the unit is just meter or centimeters, it means that that is the perimeter. So area is area is seventy two meters square. Now area and perimeter is given. We have to find out the length of PS and QR. So the first part we have to find out the length of PS. Okay, I will use the formula of the area to find out the length of PS. As you know that the formula to find out the area of trapezium is half sum of parallel sides multiplied by height. So half you will write down as it is. So sum of parallel sides. These two are the parallel sides, so I will add them. And multiply by height. So we do not know the height. So basically, P S is the distance between these two parallel lines. So I'm going to write down P S as it is. P S the is the required height. As I've told you that height. What is the height? The distance between two parallel lines is the height. These two are the parallel lines, and this is the distance. So this is the height. And I will. Uh, we have to find out the height. So we'll write down P S as it is. Now we'll solve it. When I will add ten and fourteen, I will get ten plus fourteen will be twenty-four. Multiply by PS. Okay, in place of area of trapezium, I will put its area, which is seventy-two. Okay, the two ones are two, two ones are two, two twos are four. So seventy-two is equal to twelve PS. We have to find out the value of PS. So this twelve is multiplying with PS. When we we'll come to this side, we'll divide. So the length of PS is seventy-two divided by twelve will be six. So six meter is the required length of PS. Okay, the length of PS is equal to six meter. Now we have to find out the second part. In second part, we have to find out the length of Q R. Now we have to find out the length of Q R. We know the length of S R. We know, and the length of P S is six meter. So we have found the length of P S, which is six meter. Now we have to find out the length of Q R. So here I'm going to erase it so that I can find out the length of Q R. So in part two we have to find out the length of Q R, and we have found the length of P S in part one. So the length of P S is six meter. Students, uh, now with the perimeter, we can find out the length of QR because, as you know, that perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the outer boundaries. So these are the outer boundaries. So we can find out the length of QR with the help of the perimeter. So perimeter of trapezium means you just need to add up all the uh, sides. So PS plus SR plus QR plus PQ. This side, this side, this side, and this side. I'm just adding all these four sides. Now I'll put the values. The length of PS is six, and the perimeter. It's given in the question. The perimeter is thirty-seven point two meter. Or to the PS is six. SR is ten meter. QR we have to find out, and PQ is fourteen. Now I will add up all the values: six, ten, and fourteen. So what I will get? Ten plus six is sixteen, and sixteen plus fourteen will be equal to thirty. We have to find out the length of QR. So this thirty is adding over here. When it will come to this side, it will subtract. So thirty-seven point two minus thirty is equal to QR. So the length of QR is equal to thirty-seven point two minus thirty will be equal to. Seven point two. So seven point two meter is the required length of Q R. Okay, so I hope that practice now eight is clear to you. Okay, ji. Now let's come to practice now nine. 
Okay, so let's practice now 9 is a figure is made up of trapezium A, B, C, D and a semicircle B, O, C is the diameter of the semicircle with center O. If A, B is equal to 48 meter, C, D is equal to 16 meter, A, D is equal to 20 meter and B, C is equal to root 14, 24 meter. Find the area of the figure. So in this question, we have to find out the area of the figure. Okay, so uh, here uh, the figure is given, we have to find out the area of this whole figure. First, see that which shapes are given in this figure. As you can see that this is a pair of parallel lines. So, in any figure where there is a pair of parallel and that figure is a trapezium. So, here the trapezium is given and here you can see the other side. Here this is a semicircle. So, two shapes are given in this whole figure. The first shape is trapezium and the other one is semicircle. So, what we will do is to find out the total area of the figure. We will just add up areas of both shapes so total area of figure will be equal to area of trapezium so the formula to find out the area of the trapezium is half sum of parallel sides multiply by height okay and plus now we have to find out we have to add up the area of the semicircle so the formula to find out the area of the circle is pi r square so when you will find out the area of the semicircle so you will use the formula half pi r square half pi r square now you put the values I will write them half as it is. I will add up sides, some of the parallel sides. As you can see that these two are the parallel sides because they will never meet. So I will add up, add them, 16 and 48. And what is the height? I have told you that the distance between two parallel lines is the height. So as you can see that this is the height of the trapezium. So 20 is the height. I will just multiply it. Okay, now I will add up. The area of the semicircle, the formula to find out the area of the semicircle is half pi r square. I will put the values half pi. Okay, this is the student's diameter. As you can see that it is given in the question that the length of BC is root 1424 meter. This is the diameter, so we have to find out the radius. So to find out the radius, what I will do is, I will just divide diameter with 2. So here I am finding out the radius, r is equal to t over 2. So r is equal to root 1424 divided by 2. So I will get radius. So radius will be equal to okay, so root 1424 will be equal to 37.7360. Okay, so now I will divide it with 2. So I will get 18.86 I will round up this and I will get 18.9 so the radius is 18.9 meter so now in place of radius I will take the square of 18.9 okay so now I will solve it half okay so 16 plus 48 will be equal to 64 okay so as you can see that uh, okay I am going to put the big bracket so that you can differentiate the two formulas like this okay gee. now i can cut 2 and 20 all these three values are multiplying so i can cut them two times are 20. now 16 plus 48 will be equal to 64 so 64 multiply by 10. now 18.9 square i mean i will take the scale of 18.9 i will get Three five seven point two one, and when I will divide it with two, I will get one seventy eight point six zero five pi. Now I will add them six forty. When I multiply six forty is sixty four with ten, I will get six forty. And now when I will add, when I will uh, multiply one seventy eight point six zero five with pi, I will get. 178.605 okay, so with pi so I will get 178.605 multiply by pi 
will be equal to 560, 561.1. Okay, I can round up this and I can get 2. When I will add it in 640 in it, I will get 1201.10. When I will round up this, I will get 1200. So 1200 meter square is the total area of the whole figure. Okay, what we did in this sum is just we uh, we put the formulas of the areas of these both figures as this is the trapezium and this is the semicircle. And I have added both values and I got the total area which is 1200 meter square. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. And do the practice of these sum because when you will do the practice and this concept will be more clear to you. Um, remember me in your prayers. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.